today because we are joined by the ones, the onlys, Ali Lutz and Melissa Platt. Woo! Woo! I love her. The agency is in the house, people. Mm -hmm. What is going on? How are you guys? I mean, how's it going? It's been a rush. It's it's been a while um, since we premiered. I mean, people are reaching out from people I haven't heard from in years, and it's it's weird, but it's crazy, and we're getting great feedback. Have you guys heard from any clients that like maybe didn't, you know, that one part of the show that like didn't know that you were doing this? And what do they say about this? I've had like a really good response from clients. Um, shocking because I know how reality TV can be. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised with the responses. Um, I maybe had a handful, not clients, but just randoms that had something to say, but quickly squash that when I responded. Um, I think a lot of people just want to like hate on stuff because it's fun behind your, you know, computers and phones, but clients have been so receptive. i um, really excited. I've had some people that have reached out and been like, wow, like I would love to work with you. So um, for me, it's been a really positive um, experience. That's good. Yeah. What mm -hmm. about you, Melissa? I would say the same. I've had clients reach out because, you know, when we were filming, we're in deals, right? Because this is our job. And so when we ask some clients, can we film? It's totally understandable. Some clients are hesitant because they don't know what the show is going to be like. But since the show has aired, I've gotten calls from those same clients, even though, you know, we've sold and closed those listings, but they're like, oh, you know, I wish I really would have known what it would have been like, because I would have for sure been on it. So hopefully next season that, you know, people are more trusting and know what the show is about and want to be on it. Did you guys have reservations? Cause like, you know, you are business women, like this is your real business. Like you said, Ali, reality TV, like, did you have any reservations in joining the show? Yes. <laughs> Especially because I got a call. I got the call um, from Netflix when I was literally like 12 months pregnant um, on my, you know, vacation with my kids in Hawaii and my whole family. And they're like, Hey, we heard you're pregnant with your third we still really want you to do it. And I'm like, oh, Jesus. Like the last thing you want to do in that state is do anything like, you know, where the whole world's watching you. Um, and they're like, if we're going to start filming, you know, it was like October something. It was literally, or it was September. It was right before I was giving birth to my third baby. And so I was like, oh, the timing can also be worse. And I remember Marisa. She's, she's like, like, my Botox, my hair. Like, what am I going to do? <laughs> So yes, I had reservations for a lot of reasons, but number one, I told Mo, I said, listen, I worked really hard to get to where I am and I know how reality TV can be. And I know that people can cut and edit and make you part of their storyline and fit you in, in a, in a way to, you know, create ratings. And I said, I don't want to be, um, set up for something like that because I, like I said, I've worked really hard. I, I want my family to feel proud. I want my kids to be proud of their mom. So it was really important to me that they really showed us in our true light. Um, you know, of course, we filmed a lot of, of footage that didn't get aired. So I actually filmed a lot of transactions, a lot of stuff with clients. Um, unfortunately, not all of it makes it. And uh, um, so, yes, I, I was worried. But Mo was like, you know, even if you just film a little bit, get introduced for the season, I think it's worth doing. So um, I took a leap of faith and said, all right, well, I trust Mo and I trusted you know, his hope and vision for the company. I don't think he wants to see the company um, being, you know, shown in a light where we're going to, you know, uh, avoid clients are going to want to avoid working with us. So I took a leap of faith. I did it. But yes, a lot of reservations. <laughs> Liz, I'm uh, sure same for you. Uh, I was no? more like, you know what? It's experience of a lifetime, which is crazy once we did get the call like hey you're the chosen one you're going to be a main cast member on a Netflix show and I'm thinking oh my gosh this is really happening but the thing is is that we really do all work together yeah I've been with the company for 10 years you know the Umanskis are literally family to me so I was excited more than anything of course there's nerves there I'm not going to be like oh, I wasn't nervous but you know I talk to these people like every day so the comfort of that was you know easing me but yeah I mean it's it's definitely a weird experience because you're mic'd up but you're still going and doing your everyday job it's just 
that's an added element to it. But I'm happy that it all looked really good. And obviously we all know each other really well. So at least it showed. <laughs> Do you guys have a high from this season? Like just something that stands out as like one of the best parts about being part of this first season? Um, a high. A lot. <laughs> my high, you know what my high was? For all the flack I got for like pushing Farah and all the things. I'm so glad that it ended so well for her. Um, you know, one thing, I'll share something with you guys that maybe not a lot of people know. Um, that house that she lives in is the house I actually lived in with my ex. So her her fiance's house is literally my ex's home that we lived together in when we broke up and I left him for good. And I will say, I told her, I go, Farrah, you know what? I hope this house brings you better memories and fortune and all the things and love and happiness. Um, and I'm happy to say it did. It did. She got engaged after all of that. Mm -hmm. and, um, so it was a happy ending. Well, not an ending yet. There's still more. But um, <laughs> that was a high for me. I was really happy about that for her. So it made me feel good. That's a good one. Did you have yeah. any highs, yeah. Melissa? I, I honestly, the whole show was a high for me. I think something um, I'm really happy with how I was portrayed. Obviously, you know, it was, did you see it? Did you watch it? I the did. Show? I watched the whole thing. Okay. Okay. Good. Love it. Love it. Um, I give a lot of tough love and I'm happy that, you know, Alexia and I were able to talk all that out. And some people might think a high for them was, you know, selling a crazy house which is amazing but like I take pride in like my relationships and my friendships and everything so a high for me was that everything got resolved and it was shown that it got resolved um but putting the that stuff aside I would say a high for me was I'm a fantastic buyer's agent and that really was shown you know and um I'm happy that they showed me showing my client the 79 million dollar listing it's a high for me because people are like wow she really is a badass realtor and has legit clients. So that was special for me. Were you shocked, like you mentioned this with Alexia at all worked out? Like, were you shocked that just one grade of giving a B plus, which really was a C, that this became a whole big thing? Yeah, I mean, but I get it. And I learned my lesson because I shouldn't have told in confidence, so, you know, two people, Sonica and Brandon, how I was feeling because I told them I was going to tell Alexia and they went and told her first. And that's, that's the problem you deal with, not just in, you know, our company and any company, it's like, you can't trust people right off the bat. And it showed me that it was a huge lesson moving forward. Yeah. I give tough love. Yeah. I'm honest. However, in that situation, I wasn't, and I was kicked in the ass for it. So I learned my lesson, not don't trust everybody. Cause you never know how they're going to spin it. You never know how they're going to spit it. And for you, mm -hmm. 